Well, actually, I had very little to do with Wisconsin except birth. <laughs> My family was there when I was born, and uh, being born in 1938 was, as you may recall, the end of the Depression, and things were not very good. My father had a hard time earning a living, so we left when I was about mm, two and a half. In June of 1946, some, my father and about 50 other guys got on a boat, the Alaska Steamship Company, and they went to Alaska to open a district for the Corps of Engineers. And the reason was because uh, after World War II, um, Harry Truman and Dean Acheson came to the conclusion that we were probably gonna have a war with Russia, which is the beginning of the Cold War. And Alaska, Alaska, you have to think of, it was a territory, and Alaska at that point was really the equivalent of a colony. It was sort of like, uh, it was like America for Britain, or India had been for Britain, where they were, it was the place next to the enemy. <laughs> and then my dad and some other guys went to Fairbanks to open a, a small, smaller satellite place. and. Uh, to get some work done. And basically it was a build up of a place called Ladd Field, which is next to Fairbanks. Life in the wilderness and on the edge is, uh, it's not better or worse, it's different. And it's, um, it can be harsh. If you don't pay attention, the world will bite you because the world is just full of energy and it keeps pushing pushing. You know, in high school I was designing all the sets for the musicals and drama as well as acting in many of the plays because you know there's only a handful of us we had to do everything. Right? So you know you were on stage you were doing this thing you were you know I ran the lights for the musicals. But there were dances on Friday night Alaska dances at the YMCA with polkas and shottishes and square dances. I mean it was really old-fashioned America as people describe it I'm not saying this out of nostalgia, it's just facts. There were things about it were kind of terrible. How people treated each other, you know, the sexism, racism, alcoholism. You know, it was a, it was a difficult place to grow up. As high school is ending, I think, oh, what am I going to do? And I'm, some people are talking about going to college. And I have no plan. I had never made a plan of what am I going to do with my life. It had never occurred to me that I had to think about it. So what to do? So then I thought, well, maybe I'll go to college. Uh, and then some guy came through from, I guess it was the last month or two of school, from the Alaska Road Commission. So I decided that I should go to college in engineering and I should get a job with the Road Commission. That summer I worked out of the Anchorage district and we, we did a lot of work around Anchorage and it was fun because I learned about surveying. And you know, I started just pounding stakes and cutting brush and ended up doing things a bit more sophisticated on the crew by the end of the year. Learned a lot about cadastral surveying and suntan lotion. 